Oh, hello everybody, it's your boy Profchoff, and we're back again with another video. This is the unfair matches of the Roman Colosseum. I was checking out my YouTube feed. This seemed a bit like a Salmonella type video, so I was like, hey, yo, let's check it out. Seems fun. So let's see what was unfair. unfair. I mean, everything's unfair. Way towards the most brutal matchups on the list. So Number 10. Blind that's how bad fighters. it is. Andy Badia was blind fighters. Would be forced to fight completely blind. They would be given a straight sword Bruh. and a helmet for protection. That's Except some crazy the art. Was practically a curse. Yo. <laughs> the teeth on those motherfuckers. Since it was completely sealed off, preventing the fighter from seeing or hearing Jesus. anything. The Wait. fight would begin as soon You can't hear as well? You can't see and you can't hear. But at least both of them are blind and deaf. I mean, just get into a grappling match and hope for the best, the I guess. The fighters were placed within close range Jesus. of one another, with the most popular strategy being the swing and I'd pray imagine. method, which in all honesty was the only strategy available. Now, the good news is that judges weren't really needed for these fights, since mm. the winners were very easy to identify, as they were the only contestants still breathing. Now, the crazy part is that this- I think that's pretty much how all the matches in the Coliseum ended up, no? Spectacle was seen God, as comedic- Damn, this art is uncanny, brother. Four teeth at least. This guy is so far the winner. Most teeth. Big relief more than anything. God, and if damn. you don't think two blind men fighting each other to the death is hilarious. Yeah, nah, it's not. Well, you have a lot to learn about comedy. Now, this might not well, sound- It was hilarious to Roman people. In their day-to-day -day life, they didn't really have much to do that would bring them happiness. Get drunk, go fuck, hopefully. Get fucked, I guess, you know, back in the day, you know. That unfair at first, since both men are equally and watch people blind each other. and equipped with the same weapon. Okay. But think again. Since the winner of the match would typically be rewarded with another match, then another one, well, then another one. I mean, usually in order for you to get in the Coliseum, you were a slave or a criminal, right? So, <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. And another one. You get the point. As you can imagine, Damn. a winning streak never really lasted for very long. Number nine, naval battles. There was nothing more How epic the? than the naval battles of the Colosseum. How does that also, work? one of the most unfair, bloody, and expensive. A naval that battle in the Colosseum. began by filling the Colosseum with water in around a dozen ships. It's estimated that thousands of prisoners would participate in these events. But let's talk about what made <laughs> these battles unfair. Now, depending on the starting position of your ship, it could determine your likelihood of survival. Well, at least for a bit longer, as the odds of survival were almost non-existent to begin with. Ships that started in between two other ships would make for an easy target, easily creating yeah. a 1v2 scenario. One Prisoners would invade other ships, <laughs> 1v2, I like how we're... killing That's everyone crazy, that stood bro. in their way, <laughs> while others would simply use the more popular strategy we see today. Which is, of which course, is? running away from all fights yeah. and sneaking their way to the final round, where they can hope to steal the win with a single kill. The bloody fight would come to an end when there was only one ship or team remaining. Yeah. As terrible as these battles were, at least they were easy to clean up. The Romans would try their best to remove all the large debris from the water before the stadium would be flushed like a giant toilet bowl, sending all the remains downstream for another town to deal with. Number 8. Gladiator Bro, the art, uh, the art of these pictures is like... It's so disturbing. Fights. My God. Gladiator fights were the single most popular matches of the Colosseum, yeah. with the good matchups typically being saved for the main event. Now, how can two gladiators fighting each other be unfair, you might ask? Well, for starters, the emperors weren't really interested in fairness, as their primary concern was entertainment. True. And with over 20 different classes of gladiators to choose from, the styles. Provocator? Big ass, big titties. These would be mixed and matched based on entertainment alone. Hey, Here are some of the I know the cestas. Those are the arm things from Dark Souls. Unfair and popular matchups. <laughs> Retiarius versus Secutor. Retiarius were equipped with a net, Why? a trident, a dagger. Why he looking left and right at the same time, bro? And minimal armor. While the Secutor was equipped with a sword, a large shield, a helmet, and heavy armor. Go ahead, pick one. Oh. I mean, heavy armor for those times, right? It wasn't that much armor and it wasn't that heavy. But I mean, this guy has a net. If he catches you in the net, it's probably not that good. If you chose the Sequitor, well, GG's, you're dead. As the Retiarius yeah. just had to keep... Plus, the other guy has a longer weapon. Usually in most uh, real-life situations with fights, range is king, so... Keep his you know. distance and poke at the Sequitor. 
Or better yet, trap him by throwing his net on him, mm. giving him enough time to emote Bro, before poking him to death. It's Fortnite emoting. All right, let's try another one. Mermillo versus Thorax. Okay. Mermillo okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's figure this out. Versus. I mean, it looks pretty similar. Similar. Okay, this guy. Has... So, another thing about ancient combat. Big shoot, big win. So I, I go with Mermillo. Were armed with a large That's a big brain. Shield, a short sword, a helmet, and a metal or leather sleeve for protection. Mm. While the Thorax was equipped with yeah, a light shield, looking like that, a though. curved sword, a helmet, and a metal or leather sleeve for protection. Jason? Go ahead, pick one. I go left. Big shield win. If you chose the Mermillo, rip, you're dead. As the Thorax just had to tire out the Mermillo since he was carrying the heavier shield. Really? As you can see, stylistic map. Really? How heavy is that shield? Come on, bro. Like, Matchups were a big deal. I don't believe that. Influence the outcome of a fight. And I know this might come as a shock to some, but not all gladiator fights were to the death. A nah, lot I've of heard about that. Called off when a fighter took heavy damage. Well, since most of the upper class gladiators were like, they were well known. They were like athletes from nowadays, so they didn't want to. They didn't want them to die, you know, every day. So. Yeah, it makes sense. Good gladiators were very expensive. The shitter ones. Replace. Number seven, animal battles. Ooh, Humans were yo. not the only one very expensive to replace. Number seven, animal battles. Bro, it's a 2v1. And the baby didn't have a chance. Battles. Humans were not the only ones to have unfair matchups inside of the Colosseum. Of course. Since animals were also treated like criminals. <laughs> they would be enslaved, pinned against each other, what and is the... humiliated. Okay, first off, what is the animal on the left? That is obviously a lion. What the hell is that thing? What sort of abomination is that? And were such a popular with those tumors on it. Times thousands of animals Yo. would be slaughtered in a given day, which was completely unsustainable, driving many animals to extinction. Aww. Here are some of the most popular and matchups that were commonly seen in the Colosseum. Let's go. Elephant versus rhino. Bruh. One of the most. No way in hell the rhino actually wins. Elephants are gigantic. They're strong. They have the trunk, uh, big biceps, big brain. This famous Colosseum battle. Rhino, was dumb, when small, an ugly. Rhino was pinned against an elephant, with the elephant eventually winning when he decided to cheat by grabbing a spear with its trunk and gouging the rhino's eyes out. What? Lion versus tiger. Okay. This. I've heard a lot about this whole. Let's bring it back so you can look at him. Why is the Why is the lion looking so cute? Though? Whatever. Lion versus tiger. So in most situations that this happened. The tiger has most of the advantages because it's bigger and stronger. Like, on average, tigers are bigger than lions. But lions have the main shit, which kind of helps, and they live in packs. So they don't really fight tiger. in nature. This matchup is basically a robbery. But 1v1, as I'm sure, the locals tiger should win. Large amounts of money against the guys from out of town, since they knew that the lion always wins. With there only being one recorded incident of a tiger getting the best of a lion. What? Elephant versus bull. As you can imagine, when an animal has yeah. over 10... No, no way in hell. The elephant loses to anything, to be honest. ...thousand pounds on its opponent. It's not really going to be much of a fight, yeah. is it? But just to make matters worse, sometimes the elephant and the bull would be chained together, forcing the action. And no matter how the fight begins, it would always end with the bull being turned to oh, soup. Oh, shit. Really quickly, here are some of the other animal fights McDonald's? that are very popular. Okay. Rhino versus bear. Ooh. Rhino versus... Well... What bear and who wins? Come on, give us the winner versus a brown bear. I don't know who wins. I mean, bears are very strong, but rhinos are huge and they're tough. Buffalo, Interesting. Rhino versus elephant. Crocodile yeah. versus hippo. Tiger versus bear. bear I wonder how that goes. Bull. Bear versus wolves. Goro versus scorpion. Huh? Lion versus bull. Lion versus <laughs> bear. Lion versus panther. Lion versus chimp. Oh. Lion versus hyenas. Uh. Lion versus basically any animal the Romans can get a hold of. <laughs> Number six. One versus two. This what? matchup can be unfair for either side, depending on the circumstances. <laughs> One versus explain. two. There are two scenarios in which this matchup can take shape. Mm -hmm. One, a high-level gladiator will take on two prisoners simultaneously. And as the prisoners try their best to figure out how to properly hold a sword, they will realize <laughs> that it's very difficult to do so, yep. since their hands are no longer attached. I imagine it's very difficult for this one to keep its balance. Its head is its body, and it's egg-shaped. 
Now, the second scenario is a bit more fair. Three well-trained gladiators were placed inside of the Colosseum. One Versus? gladiator would be given heavy oh. armor and a good weapon, while his two opponents would receive minimal armor and worse weapons. Mm. The duo would need to work together to defeat the better equipped man. But being partnered up is not as easy as you might think, and does come with its own set of challenges. Like knowing whether you should go for the res, or attempt to clutch up when your partner inevitably goes down. The last Always try to clutch up. If you don't clutch up, you're a pussy bitch. I mean, in real life, that situation, you're probably dead if you don't clutch up. So maybe think about it a little bit more, but and final way just saying, a gladiator no. can be outnumbered is during large scale battles. This large one is, of scale course, battles. purely based on luck alone and doesn't yeah. always mean that you will see a 1v2 Jesus. matchup, as it just might be a 1v6, depending on Yo. how bad your team is. <laughs> Number five, woman versus dwarf. Emperor Domitian introduced what? Woman versus dwarf. The legendary matchup, woman versus dwarf. And I have to admit, <laughs> I like how we've gone through so much crazy shit and we're still at number five. This like, is the only battle on, on the list bro. where a clear winner was not well documented. Huh? But even with the little information we do have, I have a gut. Get it? He said little information because the dwarf. Feeling that it just wasn't a fair matchup. <laughs> I'm just not certain for whom. You see, on one hand, you have a fully grown woman who obviously has woman. the reach advantage. While on the other hand, you have a male dwarf who is much stronger and obviously uses magic. How much stronger? Well, I'm not sure. I did, however, stumble well, upon this forum. The more you think about it, our dwarf man genetically were a stronger physically than non-dwarf dwarf woman. First off, the dwarf, if he can get inside, he'd have leverage advantage. I don't know if... That was a thing back then, but you know. I asked the same question back in 2011. Okay. Now, sadly, people just replied back with even more interesting questions oh. that we will never get the answer. And of course, of course, naturally, the entire forum devolved into guys just bragging about how many dwarves they can take on at once. One of the most bizarre things about this matchup in which way? was that I can Emperor take at Demission least five. liked to schedule this fight at night, since he preferred this battle when it was illuminated by torch lights. What in is wrong with that, dude? Female gladiator's remains were found in England. After they were examined, it was concluded that the woman's legs and arm bones were unusually heavy, suggesting that she had strong muscles. Oh. You know, I was originally leaning towards the I mean, board, she was a gladiator, but now so. I really don't see how they could possibly win. Number four. Wild animal hunts. Perhaps one oh, of the most unique spectacles of the Colosseum animal. was the wild animal hunts. Here, the entire Colosseum arena was made to resemble the animal's natural environment. Mm. A few men were then brought out to the arena, equipped with small shields and weapons. Then, for the next few minutes or hours, the arena would be slowly filled with terrifying predators. But if they really wanted to get the crowd on their feet, all the animals would be released at once. Jesus Sometimes Christ. Sometimes the men who were fighting the lions, bears, and panthers would have been well-trained fighters. While other times... <laughs> Bro, how does somebody train you well to fight a goddamn bear? It is like 10 times bigger than you, 10 times or more stronger than you. It has tougher hides than you. It can bite your head off. What the there hell? There have been condemned criminals who were just given the death sentence okay. and stood zero to no chance of winning. Here are some of the animals you could have expected to make an appearance. Well, imagine Lions, fighting an elephant. tigers, bears, elephants, mm. rhinos, panthers, leopards, hyenas, wolves, boars, bulls, deers, ostriches, crocodiles, giraffes. Deer? Are deer aggressive enough to... Giraffe? Camels and ship rats. Of course... Okay, I'd want to fight a camel, invited, probably. But they should those. have anyways. Number three. <laughs> man versus beast. Man versus Beast matches were one on one Didn't battles. That already? The oh, it's a one v one this one. Only behind gladiator fights. Now there were basically two ways that this matchup would be arranged, with both of them tailored for maximum entertainment for the crowd. The first one was when a professional slave oh. or volunteer. How do you make the teeth worse and worse every single picture, my guy? What is that thing? I, if I was the animal, I would be afraid if I saw that thing of, in front of me. Look at it. Tier fighter known as a bestiarius <gasps> would face off with a terrifying oh. beast. The animal could be anything from a lion, leopard, Some tiger, shit. bear, or any other large and powerful creature. These battles would typically end with the animal being defeated, Re even if the bestiarius really damn took heavy damage. On the other hand, How the, the second hell? matchup was much more bloody and typically ended with the man being torn to pieces. Here, a criminal or prisoner of war oh. would be forced to face off with the animal. With little to no training, it was only a matter of time Life's before the man like that, would become bro. an anatomy lesson. 
and it definitely didn't help that the animals were starved for long periods of time before they were brought out, making them a lot more angry and aggressive. There was even a single lion that Yo. took out over 200 men before it was finally defeated. I mean, I've taken 200 men before. Ain't nobody celebrating me. Got him, lion. Which is obviously a padded record, since it clearly fought nothing but tomato cans. Mm. Oh, I should also mention there, there is people, another but... event that was very popular and is somewhat related, mm -hmm. where a criminal was tied to a stake and then a wild animal would be released to eat him alive. What is that? You know, you would think that this would be one of those situations where if you've seen it once, then you've seen them all type of deal. But apparently some emperors love to show this one quite often. <laughs> Number two, prisoner versus professional Yo. gladiator. Ooh. Easily one of the most unfair matchups of the Colosseum yeah. was when prisoners would face off would against suck. a professional and seasoned gladiator. The professional gladiator they probably had shitter, shittier gear as well. Could have been a slave himself Low with gear many score. fights under his belt, or a volunteer gladiator that was part of one of the many gladiatorial schools. Either way, the criminal with zero to no experience was basically sentenced to death. You see, what could be worse than being what invaded, what is enslaved, happening? and kept inside of a cell for days? Just to be given a weapon you have never used, then pushed to the center of the Colosseum floor. The weapon's probably not even sharp. Only for Spartacus to make his Spartacus. walk out shortly after you. Yeah. Number one, rigged fights. What huh? could be more unfair than rigged matches? Haven't they all been rigged Emperor so far? Commodus was definitely the Commodus. worst defender when it came to rigged matches. The Emperor What's ruled Rome him? from 180 to 192 AD and was even portrayed by Joaquin Phoenix in the 2000 film oh, Gladiator. Shit. Commodus was obsessed with becoming a famous and well-respected gladiator. So much so that he would even compete That's himself. A face. Well, if you could even call it that. An emperor fighting as a gladiator was unheard of. Now, of course, Commodus had the best training in all of Rome and was actually very talented with the sword. Oh. But that wouldn't stop him from rigging fights by secretly injuring men Ooh. just moments before they were brought out to face him. His opponents were injured in a way that could be concealed under their armor, but be devastating enough to hinder their performance or make a limb unusable. Another strategy that the emperor would use was simply fighting men what was that little cat on his side? with zero to no experience, oh. making for another easy w emperor easy w the longest undefeated record as a gladiator He's smurfing. and it's suspected that he competed hundreds of times he would also Jesus. charge the roman treasury around 25000 pieces of silver every time he competed there are many things you bro that, that, that's corruption you're literally paying yourself what is that you could call emperor you're the Commodus. emperor goddamn one thing you can't say is that he ever discriminated since he everything. were also injured and uh. thrown in to face him. Apparently, he killed hundreds of lions, ostriches, some giraffes, and on one occasion... Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't care how injured a lion is. I still don't want to fight, fight that motherfucker. Unless he doesn't have a head on his body. Okay, I fight. I would fight a headless lion. I'm gonna be honest he with even you. Killed I would fight elephants that were just laying on the floor. Oh. Now, as horrible as this all sounds, Damn. this was all just a warm-up. And in November of 192 AD, he Ooh. held the Polybian Games, a festival that lasted around two weeks. Damn. There, Commodus shot hundreds of animals with arrows and javelins every single day. But if it makes you feel Jesus. any better, one month after the Polybian Games, Commodus would be strangled to death inside of his bathtub by a professional oh. wrestler named Narcissus. Narcissus? Which, for a man, that has to be the most embarrassing way to be found dead. Completely I mean, naked inside of a hey, listen, some people pay for that, so let's not shame it too much. Tub. You can't even explain your way out of that one. Mm. Okay, well, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that video. Hey, check out Good Enough. Tell me what y'all think about this video. If we should check out more of his videos, that was pretty dope. And I'll see y'all next time. Okay, everybody. Bye bye. Have a nice day, everybody.